morning guys so uh, don't mind the messy background and stuff I, I need to do my laundry I'm just heading out the door right now because I'm getting my hair fixed today if you guys haven't seen my last vlog you would not know that my hair is literally right now and it's under renovation I went to a color consultation yesterday and the guy said that he doesn't want to put bleach on my hair again so we're gonna have to just darken it which what was the point of me going? Ugh. So I'm like really sad. So we're just gonna go through this experience together. I wasn't gonna really vlog it, but I think I need some moral support. Yeah. So let's go. <laughs> Time is it? Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. Round two. I think we all need to take a moment to appreciate that my hair is three tones here. Just saying. Look how dark it is. I just left the salon and yeah, my hair is dark again. So like I said in the beginning, they didn't want to use bleach on my hair again. They wanted to like wait a little bit. So they decided to go like a shade darker. And I mean like I was kind of upset about it because my whole goal is I want to go light, but I can't really do anything about it. It just looks like nothing happened, you know? I spent 200 pounds to like lighten it and then go back to the color that I was originally because like my hair was kind of fading and it was, looks like this. It's so sad. <laughs> you know what? There's nothing that a little retail therapy can't fix, you know what I'm saying? I want to go like vintage shopping, see what we can find. My god, you know, it was so cute. I went in here with my granddad. He was like, oh my god, that was when I was a little kid. Or like pointing to stuff. And I was like, you know you're old when your toys are in an antique store. How weird is that going to be when our stuff is in an antique store? I'm just going to like have to not look in mirrors at this point. I just need to shop. I mean, that doesn't make sense because I just spent money on my hair. And now I'm going to spend more money. But you know what? That's okay. You just got to do that sometimes. <laughs> Oh, cute! Is that a salt and pepper shaker? That's so cute! That's 100% possessed, like, no joke. What's with this? Like, where do people even find this? This is so terrifying. 100% one of these are possessed. Imagine how freaky it would be to be the cashier hearing someone wanting to buy, like, just that. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm gonna be a little bit emo right now, so I'm gonna just like put away my camera I'm gonna go to the mall, maybe go to Primark Try to get some cute things and then hopefully I'll have a little mini haul to show you guys when I get home At least I'm vlogging. This was making me feel a lot better. I'm not gonna lie So I've just gotten home and oh my god do I have so much to fill you guys in on. As I was kind of like mentioning earlier, I was getting really depressed and like obviously because I just spent all of this money to look the exact same. So I've pretty much just spent almost 200 pounds to go from black to light which was patchy as and then go back to black. I actually called my mom, who's a hairdresser as you guys know, and she was like, it looks the exact same, like you need to go back and get a refund. And I would never in my life ask for a refund back from a salon. Like I didn't even think that was a possibility. I don't even know if it is a possibility. They haven't even called me back yet. But like sitting there on the phone and like she was hyping me up. She was like, Megan, you gotta go in there. They like, have to be sassy. Like you have to tell them what you want. I was going in there and I'm like, I'm gonna be the sassiest bitch. And when I got in there, I just started breaking down crying. And I broke down in front of everyone. So I was so upset because I was really depressed when I left. They like brought me downstairs to this room. And they were like, let's just take all your information. What's happened? Um... So I explained the whole story. If you want to know that story, then just watch my past video. I was like, I know things don't work. I know hair can be stubborn. But like, the color that I chose was realistic. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was a realistic color. It wasn't like I was showing them a picture of a blonde person. I wasn't showing them a picture of a cool toned brown. Like, the color I showed him was like, um, a brown. A warm brown. And I... Don't really know what that color is called. It's like a chestnut and like my hair like once they stripped it of the gentle cleanse 
it was like a red color as you guys saw it was like bright red and he put on a 6k which is a red color so he put a 6k over the red and it made it even more red plus it was patchy as fuck and i explained to them too i'm like I shouldn't have never left the salon with my hair patchy like that should have been something that I should have been informed about and told rather than me going home and finding out like I spent so much of my time and money here that like I should have at least had something and I know people are gonna be like girl like you're lucky that you even got the blackout I was reading the comments and it is true like it I am lucky but like almost 200 pounds to have the same fucking hair anyways whew. Okay, now that I'm done my like rant um, let me show you what I bought because when I was depressed and before I even thought it was possible to go back to the salon and complain about it I did some damage so I'm gonna go through and just like show you everything that I bought so I got these these are from Primark and I know you guys are gonna be like ew that's cheap as f but come on girl these are cute as f I've never had any heels like this before but this style is coming back I think this is like a 2000s kind of style and yeah, so I thought that was super cute. The next thing I bought from Primark was this. It's like a dress, but it's so like vintage looking and Chanel inspired. Like I'm honestly obsessed. Got these. Oops. They like scream Beyonce to me. They're like pink and rose gold and they're so cute. I think you probably can't see them in this lighting because this like light is super duper bright. But yeah, these are like so cool. I love these fucking black hair. <laughs> Don't look at it, bitch. Don't look at it. Then the next thing I bought were these. I bought this bubblegum pink. I never usually go for this color, but I just thought, like, you know, to be a little bit more girly, I just want to try something different. I went to Miss... Is it Misguided? Oh, Miss Selfridges. I was actually on the hunt for this. They're two separate chains. Um... So the one at the bottom is just like a gold one and then it has like this one. Yeah, they were having like a huge sale for jewelry and I was like, oh my god, that's perfect because I am so depressed and I literally just want cute girly shit. I got these, which are so cute. But yeah, these were two pounds. How adorable are these? I got this as well. I never wear rings, but I always just love them on other people so i decided to you know get it for myself got this as well just a separate one and then the last thing i bought was this lip gloss from superdrug it's called oh my gloss and it is in the color per glossy cat let me show you what it looks like on obviously like when you wear it with a, a dark liner it'll look better but I just look washed out right now. This is like my style, by the way, but I never let myself wear it. I'm from a really like sketchy ghetto area. Like that's where I was born and raised. And whenever I wanted to wear heels and whenever I want to wear something, like, something cute, like it would draw attention, but like you didn't want to draw attention in those kind of areas. So like I never would really dress how I wanted to dress. And I think it's just kind of carried on with me throughout life. But now I'm just like, no, bitch, you need to start dressing how you want to dress. It literally looks like Chanel. It is Chanel. What do you mean? It's fake. Oh, my battery's dead. Let me, like, charge my battery, I guess. Eat some food. We don't got nothing. ASMR. I mean, I could eat a mozzarella. So I wanted to bring you guys with me today. We're gonna go do a little bit of shopping. I want to do a DUI. DUI? No, I don't. I do not want a DUI. I want to do a DIY today. I'm so inspired by Ariana Grande's new music video, Seven Rings, and I've been seeing people actually recreating that lighting in their room, and I'm like, oh my god, I need that. So I decided today I'm gonna go do some little DIY. I'm gonna bring you guys with me, and we're gonna make my filming room which is really just my bedroom with me just shoving everything to the side because there's laundry everywhere and it's messy that room i'm gonna try to turn it into like a pink wonderland before i go out really quick i'll just update you guys on the hair situation because i did just spend most of this vlog complaining about it so the owner called me today and explained like what they did and why it didn't turn out the way i wanted i still didn't really get an answer on why i was left with patchy hair but you can't do anything. I feel kind of like... What is that? Ew. 
There was like a little fruit fly. Nasty ass, get your ass out of here. I'm just the kind of person normally, like I hate doing these kind of things. I'm the type of person that just would like accept that my hair is kind of f***ed and just never go there again. I'm not the kind of person to complain about things. I'm just gonna just take it like that and just accept what happened. I'm not gonna complain about it anymore. What happened happened, not think about it. And then maybe in the future, I'll try to lighten my hair again. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of any of you are hairdressers or anything like that. Like I would love to hear like your input on the situation. That's the reason why I complained was because you guys were like, you shouldn't leave the salon like that. You need to get them to fix it for free. At least I got it fixed and it's normal and it's not patchy. So like, I'm really, really glad about that. But um, yeah. Okay, I gotta stop talking before my camera like dies. This is so cute. How cool is that? So right now I'm in Debenhams for no reason other than to just look at makeup. I've literally been doing everything and buying things that are totally not what I came for. Typical. Don't ask me how, but I ended up in Zara. I'm just trying on this shirt. I just tried it on over my black shirt that I'm wearing because I'm too lazy to take it off. But I don't think I like it. It looks kind of worse. So I've come across these, which I think I could like DIY. Oh no, that's the wrong one. But I don't know. I'm nervous. There's only one in here. Look how cool the sunset looks like today. It looks like a rainbow almost. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it looks like there's blue, then green, then yellow, then orange, then red, and it looks so beautiful. How artsy is this shot? So my battery's flashing, so I'm gonna try to do this as quick as I can. I just wanted to show you guys what I bought when I was out, and I'm not a shopaholic. I never usually go shopping for myself. But today I was just felt like shopping. So I'll just kind of go through. So the first thing that I got was from Poland Bear. It's the neon crop top shirt. I actually got this in a large because it was like really, really tight around the neck area. I like that this one didn't have like the stripes down it like the one in Zara was showing you. And I just think it looks really good on my skin tone. This was only... $7.99. So that's so cute. I'm so excited to wear this for like summer and stuff. Then from Zara, I just got like some leather leggings, faux leather leggings. Just feel like stuff like this makes your outfit look really expensive, even if it's not. And this was only, it doesn't have the thing on it, but this was only 20 pounds. And then from Tiger, I did get these. I thought they were so cute. I got a black one too. And then I got these from the Impulse section. I thought they were so cute because they look like little picnic, what are they called? Picnic tables? Yeah, picnic blanket. I don't know, but they're so cute. Love that. And then I got this for a future video I'm going to be filming, which is going to be really, really funny. Hopefully it's funny. Um, but I just saw that and was like, I have to get it. So yeah, that's my mini, mini haul. Oh, for the lights, let me show you guys what lights I'm talking about. This is my lights that I use for filming. So I need something to cover this. So I kind of like took this off here so you can kind of see. And I feel like the, the stuff at WH Smith wasn't gonna like fit over the umbrella light. But I did find this on Amazon and I think this would look really, really cool. I looked up a couple like YouTube DIYs to do like the film tape. The only thing is like I want a couple different colors. So I'm just gonna kind of go on here and do it. Once I get them, I'll put them in another vlog so you guys can see. So I'm just gonna end the video here. I don't really got nothing else to say. And I feel like this vlog is already gonna be really, really long by the time I start editing it. So I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and for the support with my hair, even though I probably was being dramatic as f But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you really, really soon with my next video.